what is going on watch fam it is jeremy tpl and i'm here doing a quick review somewhat of an unboxing for a brand new brand based out of canada called york in front watch company but before i get started quick wrist check i'm rocking my panerai pam 422 on the vintage leather strap from alpha straps Love me my Panerai. If you follow me already, you know I have a huge passion for the brand. Also, quick apologies. I know I haven't made a new video or created a new video in quite some time. Been very busy, but I'm looking forward to providing some new content. I'm working on a new video now on the state of my collection, the story behind each of my timepieces so you can get to know me a little bit more. If you follow me on Instagram, same name, timepiece love. Quite some time ago, I did a, a week-long segment with photo and captions of the story behind each of my timepieces, and I really look forward to making a video version of that with a little bit more dialogue. So stay tuned, subscribe, and I hope you enjoy that one when that one comes out. But back to this video, again, I'm doing a quick video on York & Front Watch Company. Um, you know, this watch community and watch collecting, such a beautiful thing. I mean, as you dive into this world, there's so many brands, there's so many different styles of watches. You can't help but fall in love with so many different kinds and it can get overwhelming. But the beautiful thing about this, this hobby and this collecting and this community is when you actually get the chance to connect with a brand, the owner, and learn about the history and how they came to be. Um, and to tell you a little bit more about, you know, York and Front Watch Company, my relationship with them all started from just connecting with people in the community. One of my really good friends now, Daniel Wong, his Instagram is wonger.bonger. He asked me to have a whiskey and watch, watch talk virtual session since that's what we do in the pandemic. It's the new norm. Let's have a virtual call. Let's put faces to the name and he introduced me to Henry, who's the owner of York and Front Watch Company. His Instagram is at Jubhat, J-U-B-H-A-T. And to meet Henry and kind of connect with him was very inspiring to learn about his watch journey, um, to tell you a little bit more about him. His personal Instagram page came out from just him loving watches, him having a very nice collection and his coworker was like, man, you never wear the same watch every day at work. It's always different. You should really showcase that. People should be seeing your collection. And that's how Henry started his personal Instagram. Then one day they were hanging out and they, I guess they had a creative session and joked around and said, you know what, you should create your own watch. And you know, Henry being very passionate about watches was like, you know what, I should, but you know, after discussing, like, what would your watch be? It, it, it turned into something versatile, something that could be dressy, casual, whether you're going to work or whether you're going after work and going to a bar, having drinks or hanging out with people or just kind of doing your own journey through life. And that's where the story of York and Front Watch Company came from. So in Toronto, York Street, and Front Street is one of the biggest intersections there. And it's the hub for Union Station, kind of brings together business, casual, whether you're going to work, whether you're gonna go dining, have some drinks downtown. That's the story of York and Front Watch Company. Is It's a piece to kind of bring the two worlds together, bring you something versatile. Very inspiring to learn that about you know, the brand itself and getting to know Henry, it's very inspiring to me as well because, you know, as I've been collecting all these years and appreciating watches more and more, I've developed such a huge passion for creating my own watch. I have sketches, I have kind of the whole idea of what I want my watch to look like when I'm ready to, to work on it and to be connected to someone that's made it happen from his own imagination and his passion for watches is truly inspiring. So I look forward to showcasing the Berard. Um, it's an honor that I'm getting to experience this for like a week, take some pictures, do, a, do this quick review and showcase it with all of you. 
I hope you enjoy the video and stay tuned for more videos in the future. Let's do this. So to get things started, again, this is not the actual packaging you are going to receive with the Berard. Okay, this is a prototype, but I wanted to give everyone the full feel of how it looked right out of the box. Love the logo, YNF, so clean, so professional, and nothing beats a handwritten note. So Henry, thanks again for the opportunity to experience, showcase, put this on my wrist, take some pictures. I really appreciate it and I look forward to it. So thanks again, man. And again, I know I mentioned this before, but based on Instagram, I fell in love with the look of this piece. The pictures do the Berard justice, but seeing up close, seeing it up close in the metal, is definitely something different. The other day when I took it out the packaging, I was definitely impressed by how clean this dial is. And there you have it. This is the Berard. It comes in black and white. I opted for the white dial. And if you follow me on Instagram and you've seen some of my collection, I do have a white dialed Yachtmaster Rolex with a white dial. And I, there's just something about the indices, the text, the hands that pop from a white dial that I love so much. There's something so clean about it. And I love the way this came out. First initial thoughts when seeing the, the Berard is you look at the, the way the logo was placed and I, imme I immediately thought of professional business card, clean stationery where you feel proud and say, this is a York in front. Gave me a really good feel. No distractions from the beauty of the whole watch itself. There's not a lot going on and that's really important when it comes to a timepiece. So very nicely done on this one. Now, to tell you a little bit more about this, this, the specs on the watch, the hands and indices are black ion plated brushed. So if you look closely, there's a little bit of a texture on the numerals, very nicely done. The loom that they're gonna use on the final version is Super Luminova BGW9. The movement inside this Berard is Swiss STP 111 automatic. So that's 28,800 28, beats per hour, 26 joules and a 44 hour power reserve. Very nice specs. 316L stainless steel. I love the chamfered edges, very clean, smooth, brushed and polished. The case design is 38 millimeters in diameter and 44 millimeters lug to lug. Very comfortable sizing on any wrist. I am so used to wearing, as you know, Panerai, but me putting this on, very comfortable. I've grown a huge appreciation to smaller pieces lately, so this is perfect. The sapphire crystal is double domed, slightly boxed. I'm such a huge sucker for crystal that pops out a little bit, boxed crystal, and that has a little bit of distortion. I love crazy things like that. So it's very nicely done. I love the way this whole thing came out. And everyone knows how much of a sucker I am for see-through case backs, but you know, I'm also a sucker for a case back design that's very well thought out, nicely designed. I love the way the Y and F are popping from the textured stainless steel. So nicely done there. The crown itself, this again, this is a prototype. The crown that's gonna be coming with the final, final product is gonna be wider in diameter and a better screw down. But this is 100 meter water resistance and 330 feet. So again, that just goes to show the versatility of this piece. It looks dressy. You got a nice, again, this is a York in front pair of shoes, got the logo on there too, genuine leather. I will say this is very comfortable, very soft, but it's just very versatile where you could throw on a NATO, throw on a rubber strap, has the water resistance to kind of experience the journey through life with you. 
And as Daniel Wong or Wonger.Bonger said, this is almost like a refined Hamilton khaki. And I have to agree with him. So great words there. And I told you I would quote you on that one because that was not my idea. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this on, give you guys a look of how it looks on my wrist. Perfect size, beautiful strap. The buckle itself goes really, really well with the case design. So very, very well thought out. Great job on that York and front. And there you have it, guys. So what I'm gonna do is, because this looks like it would be a strap monster, I am gonna put different straps on this piece and showcase that as well. But I hope you enjoyed this quick review, quick showcasing of the piece. I find this to be such a comfortable, handsome, classy, but also versatile piece. If you're not following York in Front, please do. I will put their Instagram handle in the captions. And definitely visit their website, check out their pieces. And I hope you enjoy everyone. Enjoy the other combinations with the straps too and let me know what you think in the comments. Thanks so much for watching, guys.